pretty damn epic score. I wish they put more figures and, um, with DVDs like that. That's a pretty good score. But uh, yeah, it's kind of fitting that I talk about that in that this video. Let me fix my camera here so you don't get the glare. Um, hey, what's up, guys? Gemini back with another video. Uh, okay, it's kind of fitting that I was just showing you John Cena because at WrestleMania 21, that was pretty much the event in 2005 that launched Cena into basically a 10, what, 12 year run on top of the world. Uh, the guy's done it all, made all the money you could ever make, traveled the globe, uh, you know, hooked up with Nikki Bella, you know, he's, you know, out in Hollywood filming TV shows. WrestleMania 21 was kind of the launching pad when he defeated JBL um, for the WWE Championship. I've actually, I've heard people uh, diss uh, WrestleMania 21 and say, yeah, that WrestleMania was so, so I really wasn't into it. Me personally, I'm a huge fan of WrestleMania 21. Not just being a John Cena fan, but I just love the show. I love the way it had the Hollywood theme. I loved it being out in Staples in Los Angeles. Um, I loved Batista and Triple H. I know it wasn't like a classic masterpiece, but it did lead to three awesome pay-per-view matches, culminating at their pay-per-view there in June in Helm and Cell in Las Vegas. You know, I mean, WrestleMania 21, you know, Trish Stratus was on top of the world, uh, just throwing Christy Hemme around the ring, beating the shit out of her. Shawn Michaels and Kurt Angle uh, just killed it. Randy Orton and Undertaker had a so-so match, and you really didn't want to see Randy Orton break the streak, but it wasn't time, and Undertaker eventually put him down. I could have done without the, the sumo match with Aki Bono and uh, Big Show. That was kind of like, eh. The Piper's Pit with Carlito and Stone Cold was great. The Money in the Bank ladder match uh, was tremendous. Um, I really, honestly, I had a ton of fun watching WrestleMania 21. And you can see the culmination of the new champions at the time. John Cena would become the champion on SmackDown, but then later go to Raw. Batista, everyone thought was going to Raw, but he wound up becoming the flagship over on SmackDown. So I think Cena got the better end of that deal by becoming the champion over on Raw. Batista did a fine job on SmackDown. He wasn't a terrible champion. I love WrestleMania 21. Um, I don't know who really disses on this too much. I've heard it, though, and they say, ah, WrestleMania 21 is flat. Ah, WrestleMania 21 wasn't that good. I loved it. My favorite match of the night was Kurt, Angles and Kurt Angle and Shawn Michaels. Um, just curious to get your guys' opinions. What did you think about WrestleMania 21? Did it live up to the hype? What was your favorite match on the show? Was it Kurt Angle? And Shawn Michaels was a Batista um, and Triple H. Uh, did you like the Trish Stratus match? Did you like the Hollywood the theme? You know, where Trip or uh, Stone Cold at the beginning goes, "I am the master of the middle finger." You know, doing a spoof off of Gladiator. Now, this was in Los Angeles. Uh, I, I I wish I would have gone to this one. I, I was busy working, you know, and I had just bought my first house and. You know, I, I didn't get opportunity to go to this. You know, I was so broke at the time because I just bought, you know, the house that I'm currently living in in 2005. So I didn't have a lot of extra money at the time. But if I could have done it again, I would have definitely gone to WrestleMania 21 in Staples and just had a time of my life. You know, you remember that part where Hulk Hogan came and, you know, he got into it with Muhammad Hussein and all that. So anyways, we'll, we'll finish this up. Just curious to get your guys' opinions on WrestleMania 21. Thank you for listening. I'm Gemini. Have a good one.